lovely shell welcome back to my channel today I thought that I would do the summer tag this or that 2017 um, I came across this tag from Chrissy Gale um, I'm subscribed to her channel and she did this tag and she made it seem so fun that I thought I would tag myself in I think a while back people were able to tag other people in or something like that but I don't see too much of that going on so I'm tagging myself in okay excuse me anyway <laughs> So, um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please uh, press that subscribe button. I like to have fun. I like to do different things on this channel. And so this is really kind of sort of outside of the norm of what I do. Um, but like I said, I'm looking to do other different things with this channel. So let me just preface this by saying that summertime is my absolute favorite time of the year. I love the summer. I love being outside. I love the feel of the sun on my skin. I just, I feel more free. I feel like I don't have to wear as many clothes. I mean, it's just, there's just so many reasons why I'm loving summer. So anyway, let me just, let me get into this, okay? So I kind of switched up the questions a little bit. There are some that I kind of um, got from her, and then there are some that I kind of switched up a little bit. So, and I think on the tag, you can kind of like, you know, make up your own questions as you go along. So that's basically what I'm doing. So, windows down or AC? I'm definitely going to have to go for AC. It depends. If if I'm in a car, I can do windows down. If I'm in a house, the AC. For But, you know, for the purpose of this video, because it's this or that, I'm going to have to say AC. I am by nature a very cold-natured person, and it doesn't take a lot for me to get cold. Um, but at least with the AC, you can, you know, turn on the heat and, and adjust, you know, the temperature depending on how you're feeling. Picnic or camping? Definitely picnic. With picnicking, you can go into an open field, you know, you can go into a park, you can pick a place where you don't have to worry about any, you know, um, vermin or rodents or um, bears coming up you know, behind you or having to worry about anything like that happening. So I'm definitely going to have to go with picnicking simply because, you know, you get to, you get to pick where you're going to place your food, where you're going to place your blanket and, you know, the locale of where you're going to be. And you can scope that place out and pretty much pack up and go, you know, when you get ready to pack up and go, you know, if things get kind of crazy. So immediately like you're you're not having to like run to your car from a bear or something like that I mean if you're camping you have to worry about those things so yeah definitely camping volleyball or tennis in my mind um, I can really play tennis I love tennis I watch Venus and Serena they're great um, I in, in my mind I learn how to play from them I, I think I can play like them or similar to them at least when I'm on the court and I'm, I'm playing tennis I try to do some of their moves and I gotta tell you it's it, they make it look really really easy but tennis is hard work like you really have to get out there and practice to get your game on top level so but anyway I would definitely say tennis Beach or pool, definitely the beach. I love big bodies of water. Um, the pool is okay, but I, you know, I love being, you know, in the sand. I like, like I said, I like big bodies of water, even though I don't know how to swim. I like to watch other people swimming, lots of people swimming. Um, it just makes it more fun. So yeah, beach. Theme park or drive-in movie? Um, definitely a theme park. I, I love being outside. I love theme parks. I love you know, riding on roller coasters and just kind of mixing and mingling with different people. And a theme park kind of, you know, it sets you up for that where you're having to, you know, see different people, different ethnicities, you're, you know, engaging and having fun. So yeah, I would definitely say theme park. Tanning lotion or sunscreen? Definitely sunscreen. Um, you know, we have to protect our skin even though we are melanated sisters, you know. I'm you know, dark skin, brown skin, somewhere in between there. I love my complexion. Um, I don't tend to I tan a whole lot. So, um, you know, I'm really having to protect my skin, you know, because I don't want to tan a whole lot. I love this complexion that I'm in. So I'm gonna say sunscreen, you know, it, it, it protects you from the harmful rays of the sun. And we all know beautiful skin is in, right? Mow the lawn or plant flowers. 
definitely plant flowers. Um, I'm in the process now of trying to grow um, lavender and rosemary in my front yard. I also have what we call a butterfly bush in the back and we've been trying to cultivate it and, and get it to grow and it's, it's flourishing, it's doing real, doing very well. The butterflies are coming to it. So it's fun to see you, you know, get your hands in the dirt and be the creator of, of something that's colorful and beautiful and blossoming and flourishing. So I would definitely say planting flowers. Eat a slice of watermelon or frozen grapes. I was introduced to frozen grapes last summer and I gotta say, they're delicious, but I was brought up on that watermelon. Okay, every summer, watermelon. I love drinking the juice of it when it's cold and it's just, it's sweet and it just, it, it just tastes so, so yummy and it's refreshing. You know, if you've been out there in the hot sun for a long time, you know, you come in and eat a slice of watermelon or stand outside and eat a slice of watermelon. It's just, there's nothing like it. So definitely eat a slice of watermelon. Kitchen, cooking, or out to eat. During the summer, like I said, I like to be out and about mixing and mingling with people, so I'm gonna have to say out to eat. Um, during the winter time, I'm more into warmth of the kitchen and all that, but during the summer, I'm all about trying to eat out, especially on the weekend. Ride a roller coaster or collect seashells? Definitely ride a roller coaster. Outside, you know, you're, you're laughing, you're having fun, you taking a risk by riding on a roller coaster. I mean, it's just, it's the thrill of being in the air. It's the thrill of just, you know, I, you know, having your life hanging in the balance, as they say. I don't know, it's just something about it. So definitely, definitely ride on a roller coaster. Watch fireworks or people watch. Definitely people watch. It's so interesting to me to sit and watch other people. You're looking at them and you're wondering what they're thinking. You're looking at what they have on. Um, you know, you're wondering where they're going. And the best way to do it is to not be so obvious. So, you know, you wear a pair of dark shades and it's like you're looking at them, but they don't know you're really looking at them. I don't know, it's fascinating to me. So I would definitely say, people watching so yeah that is the end of my summer tag 2017 this or that and i really, i had fun with it i hope you guys had fun so yeah if any of you guys are interested in doing the summer tag i suggest that you go for it it's really really fun and um, i will catch up with you guys in another video bye